Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to process images by removing the stars and processing nebulae or nebulae on, on their own. It will bring lots more detail out. These are the comparisons that I'm showing. You can see the after images a lot more detailed. This is the Lagoon Nebula. Now I will show you how to do it. First, you need to save this text on SharpCap. As I'm pointing out, there's the save button. Save it as a 16-bit stack when you finish live stacking. And then, it will uh, be like it, like the, the one I'm showing you now. It will be in the SharpCap Captures folder. Like that. Now you need to put that in a website called Fitscrubber on Google. Search Fitscrubber on Google. It's this one. And this is what we will use to separate the stars from the nebulae. Fitscrubber. And the first link. Okay. Now we put that fit file, fits file. It has, it has to be fits, not, not a retrieve file. We put it in the fit scrubbers and this is uploading. It will take a bit long, but I cut the video here to show you what I do. Now it uploaded successfully, uh, check star removal. And you can choose HOOS, HO or RGB. For this reason, I will choose RGB. If you use other ones, it will bring another palettes. They call them Hubble palettes. The colors will be different. Now it ended, okay, and now we press TIFF. On the left, side, left hand side, press TIFF to download it. And press the star mask fits downloaded as well. You need to click on those, on both those uh, words, TIFF and fits. And now it is downloading. Now we need to process. And I am going to use uh, Cyril to first you need to use Cyril to the star mask change it from a fits to a tiff to using GIMP because if you don't it will be black and white I'm going to put that in the desktop so I can find it okay now we open Cyril You can also stretch on Serial, it's your choice, but I, I like GIMP because it, uh, it's, it's, it's more useful, I find it. Now put the star mask in uh, Serial, that you download it, and leave like that, don't touch it. Just save it, and uh, name it Lagoon Nebula Stars in this mm -hmm. reason, and instead of .fit, choose .tiff, and press save. And choose 16 bit on the left hand side. And now it saved it in color. So we can use it. And now I am going to open GIMP and start processing. Okay. Now we put the Lagoon Nebula picture or whatever picture you have. And uh, as you can see, it's a bit green. The nebula is without stars, as you can see. Now we can uh, stretch the nebula without damaging the stars. That's the whole reason of this. I lowered the green a bit, so we bring the red color more. And stretch the value. Or you can use curves as well. Darken the background a bit. And uh, as I show you in the, in the videos before, uh, you need to adjust the colors, stretch the data, things like that. And you can actually leave it without the stars. If you like it like this, then below, but I'm going to add the stars later. So it will look more natural like. But you can leave it without the stars. It's, it's very nice looking. It's your choice. I keep it just in the levels. Mm. 
little bit of the shadows so we bring some more detail on the sides okay now go to file and open as layers and choose the star mask that you downloaded that's why it's better to name them so you find it and now go to mode and press dutch so it will add the stars as well and then to you can stretch the stars to make them more visible you need to press on the star mask first on the right side to adjust the stars and just as vice versa you need to press on the lagoon nebula uh, on the right hand side to adjust the nebula but uh, basically that's it you can see it's very beautiful looking it, uh, without doing this the stars will be look horrible they sometimes when you stretch too much they will be bloated and then they won't look very nice this is essential to for the finished product to look very good I'm adjusting slightly the levels again and basically that's it this is the finished finished image and now I will show you how to add, how to you can on Fitzcarver you can choose HOO or SHO uh, I will show you how to process an HOO image as well it, it looks very nice as well but it, it will look in different colors it will be will be like gold looking and it's very cool I will show you it's like this it will come out like this this is called the Hubble palette it's, it's known on pics inside and stuff but you can do it on, on Fitzcarver as well and it is the same process adjust the levels and saturation colors and then you add the star mask and press mode and dutch dutch will uh, will add the stars to the to the nebula so you can combine them together it's a very simple process i found it recently it works very good uh, you can use starnet as well for this for this result but starnet doesn't work on my computer and uh, maybe it doesn't work on yours as well and you're scratching your head trying to find a way to remove stars this is a good way to do it there are also ways to reduce star size but this works a lot better press dodge and as you can see it added them to the nebula the dust is a lot a lot more pronounced uh, when uh, combined to when not doing this procedure so i highly recommend it you can add as much stars as you want i'll add like halfway halfway i don't add a lot of stars you can also adjust the saturation of the stars the colors you can also do, do that but obviously you have to select the stars on the right first and basically that's it i hope you found this video helpful and if you like it give it thumbs up and share with your friends and clear skies i will see you in the next video thank you